Periodical cicadas are cicadas that all come out all at the same time every 13 years or every 17 years. That's a long time for an insect. They're kind of scary looking, they have bright red eyes, they look a little bit like aliens. And so the question that everyone has is, well, why is that happening? Why do they only come out 13 or 17 years? This is the great question that no one has a really good answer to. So cicadas live underground. They, they feed by sucking the phloem or the, the juice from trees and they live in the roots of the trees, attach to the roots of the trees, and they're big insects. They live, they're about an inch long, and so they take a long time to develop. That and phloem isn't really all that nutritious, so it takes a long time to become that big of an insect. So once they get enough that they're large enough, they come out. Normally that happens ir irregularly for different kinds of cicadas, but then there are these special cicadas called periodical cicadas that time their, their emergence coming out all at the same time. Not all cicadas are periodical. Some come out every year. So you may hear cicadas singing year after year after year, and you think, well, why is that? What happened to my, my periodical cicadas? So the 13 and 17 years, we don't know why those numbers. There are some guesses as to why they all come out at the same time. We're talking about a trillion insects over a really wide area. So 13 years, if you're a bird, you're not gonna wait around 13 years for your next meal. So you don't learn to, to use cicadas as a, your typical diet, or 17 years for sure. Maybe mammals might live that long, but again, they're not gonna wait 17 years to eat. So we think that it's a protection against predators. The coming out all at once is that, well, if you're gonna come out every 13 or 17 years, you still have to live. One of the ways to do that is to hide in a group. When you have a mass emergence all at once, the predators can't eat them all. And so some uh, cicadas will, will survive just because of the numbers. So we think that the, the, the timing of the brood emergence um, and coming out all as a, as a mass brood, the periodical broods, is, is a mechanism to avoid predation. Why 17 and why 13 years? That's the question. Those are prime numbers. They can't be divided by anything else. We don't know if that matters. We don't know if that's important. But you know, it's a really hard thing to study. That's why scientists get all excited. We get to try and figure out, maybe we'll figure out this time why that's been 13 and 17 years. These are big, loud insects, right? So what are they doing? And the answer is just mating. Do they bite? Do they sting? Nope. Do they do anything to hurt you? No. Do they hurt your plants? Are they feeding on your plants? No. The only thing that the cicadas feed on are trees, and they feed on the roots of trees as nymphs. The adults come out, the adults aren't gonna feed. All they're looking for is a mate. The female lays the eggs in the, in the trees, in the uh, branches of the trees, and once those eggs hatch, the larvae drop down to the ground and burrow underground and wait another 13 or 17 years to come out again. It's only a few days that they're really above ground, but there are so many of them. And the last, the, the brood emergence will last for six weeks or so. It feels like they're around for a long time. Cicadas are unusual in the way they make their sound is they use something that's like a drum. They have a, a muscle attached to it and they pull it back and release it really quickly and it makes a, a timpani type sound. More commonly are things like crickets and, and grasshoppers, and they make sound like a guitar. They, they rub two uh, bits of parts together, typically their wings, where they have what's called a scraper and a file. Another way to think about it is if you ever took a comb and you run your finger along a comb, it's that kind of sound making process. So the two different ways of making sound, but they're making sound for the same reason. It's the male singing to the female, trying to attract her. Come on in, I'll play the guitar at you. Oh, yay! So really, all you're seeing is a musical uh, symphony of really excited males and females, and it's only the males that are singing to the females, trying to have her come over, and so that they can reproduce and uh, produce eggs and, and continue on. Why, why is everyone excited by the cicadas, right? And for the first time in 221 years, both the 13 and the 17 year cicadas are coming out at the same time. The last time this happened, Thomas Jefferson was president. That kind of puts it in perspective. It's not gonna happen again for another 221 years. So this kind of makes um, a solar eclipse, puts it in, in, in its own shadow. Um, this is really an exciting event because it happens so irregularly, but it's a natural event. We know when it's gonna happen again. We knew when it happened last. 
And that's the fun part of nature, the predictability and the unpredictability at the same time.